Hello and welcome back to Rollercoaster Tycoon, the park that is in, well, pretty much the backyard of this town, you know, this town, this village wanted entertainment close by, but for all their wishes, there is a price to pay, and that price is called Eternal Umbrella, because we are being the very considerate neighbor, and we've built an automatic water or garden watering system. <laughs> yeah. We are such gentlemen, right? <laughs> and whilst we're at it, we will also wash the windows too. Every day, multiple times. <laughs> oh man, we're that good that, you know, it's never stopping. Not even in the summer when it's scorching hot. <laughs> Keep your windows closed. Unless, of course, you like a pool inside your sleeping room. <laughs> Anywho, um, yeah, this is the latest edition. The garden watering system. And the amazing thing is that this is very good. Look, 5.3. That's really high rated, you know. So I am very happy about that, of course. But we are, however, in a pickle over here. Because of, well, space and issues, really. See, the thing is that we have a pocket of space over here. So far, we managed to get two rides in it, more or less. I would say less, actually, than more, but hey. Uh, the thing is, though, we need another one in here. I mean, right now, 635 guests, not a whole lot. But the space over here is just very, very, very cramped. I mean, you can't really see it like this, but if we disable the rides... This over here, you know, we have this tile, this tile, and then uh, this, well, this tile, and that's it. That's only three tiles, so if we are to build a ride, I don't think we can squeeze that in over here. You know, I just don't think it's going to happen. It needs to be either all the way off to this side or towards the other. Well, I don't know. I mean, it could even be that because this front yard, you know, this walkway is over there, that they even consider this to be also part of the house, which would make it even worse, which means that there's only a too wide, uh, well, space here. So, I have a plan, but I'll unveil that after we do a quick pricing and vandalism check. You know, so I will start over here. Everything looks good, nice, funky. And over here it doesn't look so... What? The crooked house number one. <laughs> we are going to adjust your price. But look at you. You did make 2,039 bucks. Well, that's pretty solid. Anyway, we're going to call this <laughs> uh, the cramp cabinet. <laughs> because of how the park is, you know. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think it needs explaining, but <laughs> well, I just did. So... <laughs> Uh, anyway, and that's one ride. Now, this is, of course, new, so the fact that there's no guests over there isn't telling the whole story. For the rest, everything is pretty well filled up. Then, we need a vandalism check. As we've learned, the guests are extremely violent in this park. Though, it does seem that right now, everything is pretty much in check, under control. Except for this area. I find this a little bit too dirty, so we're gonna get another handy dude on it. I also seem to recall that I didn't we didn't really have extensive coverage over there because yeah, you know, well, you know, I gave them big areas. So actually I think that this was the missing piece. I think that the path oh yeah, just eyeballing it, it should be on these you know, these lower left ones, really. No, oh, well, anyway, I, I'm pretty much sure that this path is covered now. So, right. Well, um, we got that done then. Pretty good. Now, uh, before we get into building, I do want to know what our eggheads are doing. So, eggheads, <laughs> tell me. You designing a roller coaster? And then a pizza stall? <laughs> what? Or no, wait, the other way around? We first got a pizza stall and then a roller coaster? I thought you were researching. Yeah, gentle, right? Guess there wasn't much to research. Now, see, the thing is, we don't really need that many more roller coasters. We got pretty much all we need. Oh, sure, more is better, but I do want to know which I've got over here. 
Doesn't seem to be a whole lot, actually. I mean, it seems to me <laughs> that there's actually pretty much nothing for us to build. Oh, wait, let's build this. Yeah, right. <laughs> Pointless. Oh, man. This, I guess, could be quite cool, but no. So, we need... Well, we don't really need roller coasters, but since that's the only proper right thing we can research... I mean, shops and stalls... I mean, well, the issue with the shops and stalls is that we don't really have anywhere to place them, so that's a no-no. And the same goes for scenery and theming. Both are, like, pointless. So, I guess ride improvements? I mean, I guess that's it. Yeah, I guess so, then. Anyway, uh, over here, we need to build a coaster. Now, it needs it needs to be above over here, over these houses. Now, we have path above the houses, which means that the station needs to be at height 12. That's four higher than the path. Well, it's high, but I guess it's doable. What are these track heights? Height 12 means that I only need to stay away from this track and this over here. So, basically... As long as I curve about at the proper time and angle frame thing stuff, <laughs> then I should be alright. Now, another thing that I need to uh, consider is that we're going to have a path over here. And this is, well, you know, I don't really know where it needs to go, but yeah, it needs to go all the way over here. So that, this, this is a pretty long stretch, and to have that stretch without any ride whatsoever, no. <laughs> That's just not going to happen. So we're going to have a coaster over here, pretty much, well, above the um, road, and just wiggle it in there. And what we do need for that, though, is the station to be... Uh, over here, and then what we need is we need the station to be at high 12 so that we can go above the house. Uh, you know, a man, oh man, <laughs> what am I thinking about? That's like two steps ahead. We need a first coaster that's actually over here, so let's not worry about that. Uh, what we should worry about though is this over here now right now we can't even build above the houses and for the station i feel that we need to so what we are gonna have to do is buy this stretch of land over here i know crazy expensive but yeah it's needed so there necessary expansion for the park ouch that hurts <laughs> it really hurts in the budget but it's done it isn't actually that bad. It's just a little less than a thousand, so we'll, we will make that back in no time. Now, uh, as far as the station goes, I mean, that's actually I mean, I just closer, but let's get that back. What I would really like to, I don't really know if it's possible or not, but what I would love to is for this track to um, somehow go somewhere and then follow the, you know, the log view. And just follow the same track route. This is going to be the iffy bit though over here. Because I don't think yeah, there's trees in the way. So we would have to go above here. Basically that leaves us with only a few options when it comes to uh, the track. Because we can get back from pretty much anywhere I feel. So if we were to build the station it would probably be the best if we build it over here and then somehow very aerobatically curve ourselves away from wherever we're going here and then we'll somehow have to hook it up over here see so we need to leave like some space we're at height 12 though what we could not do is come directly back from here, over here. So what we need probably is a higher... Oh man, <laughs> this is going to be a rough challenge, I can tell you. Alright, I like rough challenges. Let's get it on then. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but the station is going to be in this way, because I think that that is the best. It also makes it for a nice Q hook up edge, because if we're having the stations start at over here, <laughs> then the Q is going to be ginormous. <laughs> I don't think that that's a good practice, to have ginormous Qs. So, we need to get, well first we need to get the coaster uh, actually over there. And by the way, I have already decided on which coaster, there, the wooden coaster. Sure, we have other coasters, and, oh look, look at you, oh... 
want actually you're on the list but yeah the wooden coaster is the one so in that light we need to build it uh, first over here you know like our uh, starting point for pretty much any good track uh, these days oh. <laughs> uh, but anyway yeah we need to start over here then see that we get our as to the uh, well, to the point where we want to build the station which I don't know, I guess it would be over there. Yeah, alright, we're getting somewhere. I mean, sure, this is ugly and whatever. But this is just to get where I need to be. Which is not over there, actually. I need to pull it back by one. And then, look, I believe, yeah, see, height 12 is where... I mean, right now we, we are above the houses, so this is good. Look, this is the right side. Let's remove the lead-up tracks, like this, look at that. And then we'll just, uh, oh, yeah, but, um, derp. <laughs> Station is uh, facing the wrong way here. So, oh, and of, co of course, of course, why make it easy? So, yeah, so what we need to do is we need to go back, get up high, so that we can twist no so that we can twist ourselves around uh, and then just remove these pieces and now be careful because if I remove everything then I'm back to square one <laughs> I don't want that oh and of course because we're building backwards we now need to no we're still not facing the right way are we no we're not Hold on a second. I just need to do it like this. This is how we need it. I don't know really how I wound it up at the, facing it at the same direction. But anyway, we got it sorted right now. So we need to go down to height 12, which is where I had it all planned. For the station, yes. Good, good, good. Now this is crucial. We don't really want it to be too far. And we don't want this to be too far either because that's... Oh, that's interesting. Hey, so... I could get away with this, don't I? If I... if I... Hey, this is very interesting. I could get away with this, probably. I Nice. Right here. Okay. Um, the exit then, huh? I guess we could try and hook up the exit to this path over there. I don't think it should be that difficult. Of course, you'll see that it's crazy difficult. Uh, actually, I shouldn't want to do this, but maybe I don't need to. Really. I, don't, I don't know. We'll see. This is where I do want the entrance over there. So I know that there's visually at least uh, one, you know, more space in between so I can get below there. Um, actually, before we continue derping on, I want to be sure that I got everything connected properly. So, let's see. I believe I need to go one down over here. Okay, maybe not. But... Right. Okay. It's already an interesting turn of events that we got going there because I thought that we would be able to go between these houses. Kind of ruins the plan I had for the exit path, for hooking it up over there. It really does. Now, right now we can go above the houses, so I guess what I could do is this is also being uh, above the houses lock film in the way footpath in the way can't really see that to be honest um, okay yeah well I guess so I mean if the game's saying it's in the way then <laughs> it is in the way that's annoying. I, th I had hoped that I could get these in between here, but yeah, this is of course on the same level. Balls. 
The only other option I see, and that's far from a beauty prize winner, <laughs> is to go all the way above here and hook the exit up there. Meh. <laughs> really. Meh. I don't really see any good alternative though, that's even worse. Yeah, th I don't think there is any good alternative, so... Fine, we're gonna do that. It's gonna be expensive, I know. I'm aware of it, I don't like it, but hey, what can we do, right? No. No. I need to do this right, like, first time, because building this path is just very, very expensive. There, we got this sorted all right now. Good. Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> this is absolutely horrible. Look at what a poor path construction. This is like flying path here. You got houses right somewhere. I'm just covering it up with my own construction here. <laughs> this is really poor. I must admit, this is absolutely horrible, but... Uh, well, anything really to get this going, right? We had actually a cool thing going with this coaster, which looked really good, you know? And then there's this. <laughs> this monstrous contraption uh, that we're building here. Yeah, I know. It's bad, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, on the other hand, what I um, maybe could have done, thinking about it... Uh, no, I don't think it's possible, but... Uh, no, see, this should have been height 16 for that to work. I thought for a moment that if we were to build the exit over here, I would go to height 14, shoot in between these coasters, and then perhaps, but no. No, that ain't gonna work. No, just no. Actually... Ah, well, it doesn't matter. It's hooked up right now, so what am I What am I complaining about? Uh, what we're gonna do is... Well, we're gonna build the no-entry sign, like, right away. Because I don't want any guests wandering up there, of course. And, um, well, I guess that right now we're ready to construct the coaster. So, yeah, there we go, right? <laughs> oh, and then, of course, we find a coaster in the way. But we have an escape route. Nice. Now, I don't really know how high, how high this one can go, but I'm pretty sure that it isn't that high. We don't need it to go quite high, though. Oh, it's actually not that bad. I mean, the station is at height 12, so... Oh, this is going to be crazy expensive, man, I'm telling you. And also... Hey, can I... Wait, hold on a second. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say, like, do we have a water splash? Can we splash on the splash right? <laughs> that would be really cool. Yeah, look at our money. Look at look at how it's going down the drain. Oh man, this is horrible. Alright, 25. Oh, that's interesting. But I was more thinking about a curve like this. Now, we are not above our own station at the moment. Oh, and we are at the end of our cash. Luckily, though, we can take out only five more grants. Only. That ain't good, but... Now, well, we'll take it, because what I'm gonna try and do right now... Is the thing I was talking about, you know? With the whole hooking up to areas. Let's see. Of course, I'm miles off. I'm not even lined up proper. But... That's taken care of, like, right now. Then... What I would really need is... Oh, yes! 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 It's done! We are doing it! I don't care how, but it's working. And then an S-band... To... Oh. Yeah, see, this this could be an issue. I don't know, we'll have to see though, but... First of all, let's enable that. And then... Let's go up. Because... I need another S-band. Or could I get away with... 
a curve. Yeah, I could actually get away with the curve. In that case, can I go down even further? No. No, that's not possible because height 8 is the absolute lower limit, so... Uh, let's see, height 10 then, alright. Cool. And then, I guess we could already bank it. Keep it banked for one curve. And then, perhaps do a crazy twist like this. Oh, and then, of course, the land is not owned by the park, you'll always see. I don't know, this twist could be... Uh, did, that could not be the right thing to do, and I'm actually... Yeah, we're, we're not going to do that twist. Oh. Wow. This twist is a definite keeper, though. Oh, and look at where we end up, right over here in the Maya. Alright, let's pause it for a moment. We need to get back to our station's back end, which is at height 12, and we're more or less aiming for that right now. I mean, I don't really know how this compares, but if I were to just translate this down, we're over there. What I would need to do is get an approach from over here, but this is not for sale, so that's not possible. The other approach and that um, I should do then, you know, because uh, that's the next best thing, is approach from this angle. But that's also not really ideal. I guess it's a lot more feasible though. So, right, we're gonna we're gonna give that a go. Um, we're gonna go down to height 8 though, you know, and make some speed, and you know, I love that speed, always good to have more of it. There's a lock field in the way actually. Hey, <laughs> who built that there? Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> and then what we would need is a steep curve shooting us up to heights. No, 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 not height 17. Height 16 would have been good enough, but. Right, now that should get me right towards height, no, that's height 50. How come I can't get this track up to there? Radio. Uh, but I need this to curve. And then, no, because of footpath. Right, so this might be trickier than it looks, I already realize. Uh, uh, um, yeah, so about this, huh? Well, I, oh, I guess we could lift it. I don't really know what the speed on it will be right now, so... No, I didn't want two lift pieces, just one. And then curve it about. And then also lift this piece. Oh, come on. Lift it. Damage. Pay attention right now. And then curve backwards. Yes. 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 Nice. Now, speed won't be great. And look at where we are heading, ladies and gentlemen. We're going home now, boys. Fun's over, the game's won. Oh, well, that's not really true, but... <laughs> and we can break it. Oh, man, perfect. Absolutely brilliant. Look at that. Done! We did it! Oh, nice! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Check it out. Right. Well, a test ride, I think... Well, you know, quite an interesting one, because this coaster is completely covering the whole freaking neighborhood here. I mean, we got automated water gardening systems or whatever, <laughs> and it's quite needed because your garden is now not receiving any natural sunlight or water for that matter, so... Right, let's take a look at the speeds. Those are looking good. Ah, this is rough. That's really rough. 
Maybe we need brakes. Maybe we do. I'm thinking we do need brakes, yeah. I'm suspecting we are going to need brakes. Over here. Somewhere. I have a feeling that this is going to be a very extreme coaster. Just a hunch here. Uh, we, we will place or put that to 10 minutes though. Yeah. It's not that bad though, but it is way too bad. We need to insert brakes, and where it goes wrong is from this piece onward. So, there's two ways we could go about this. My plan is to lower the speed right on the top of this hill. I think that's the best way. Let's do a quick glance at where most of the G's are. Wow, gained. Not over here. Um, yeah, most of them I gained like afterwards, right over here in this bit. And these are vertical G's, right? They're quite high. So if I lower the speed over here, then we're pretty much golden. And then there is this, which I think, yeah, this high G spike is this curve over there, I believe. Or it is this curve in here. Either way, you know, it that happens over here in this section and we need to prevent that from happening. I mean, this is height 25, this is height 18. If they go through over here at like, I don't know, 8 kilometers, then over here the speed will be more reasonable. So we're going to edit it because we have found the fault of this coaster. And uh, yeah, let's unpause it. I mean, good track analysis can save you so much time. And uh, then we're going to have brakes. Breaking it to... We could go all the way down to 6. I'm going to stick with 14 for now. Thinking that that will probably be also a pretty solid choice. We could do this. No, we couldn't. And then we also couldn't do that because of track issues. Oh. Alright, so I guess that whole shenanigan doesn't go then. Yeah, alright. Fine. This one piece needs to be gone then. We need this to be break to like four let's see what 49 does you know in terms of speed and then the ratings i don't know really 49 still seems quite fast through there but it will probably be about 45 over here yeah, it still seems quite fast anyway and that's test riding and you know what no, 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 no. I, I have a feeling it's too fast. My gut feeling says 49 is too fast. We're going to go with 43. So, that should be good now. We're going to test this. And uh, we're going to call this <laughs> the rain cover. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We're, we will call this wood sky. Uh, wood cloud. There, because it does look like cloud. It's floating above the houses. <laughs> yeah, clever me with my naming, huh? Now that's on six bucks. That's good. This is all sorted. So, yeah, pretty much everything's covered except for the colors. And just looking at the terrain right now, the speed at which it's going through over there looks. It even needs to lift. Right? Maybe I could have gone with a with a uh, 49 kilometer an hour thing. I do think though that right now all the nasty G's are just taken out. See, it, it's wildly dampened this coaster. Pretty good. G's are still quite happy though, vertical ones, but that's all right. Now, uh, we need to color this and um, yeah, we should have ratings pretty soon. So, nice, nice. Now then. <laughs> We are going to... Uh, yeah, the wood cloud, huh? What we could do is... Ew. Now this be white. And this be light. This looks kind of okay, actually, if you ask me. And then I can have that be like this. And then that be like that. 
Could we also change this around? Would that look half decent? Or even like proper decent? Darker green perhaps? Yeah, I quite like the looks of this. Now, oh, it's not yet available, but look, see, all the Gs are below 3 kilometers. The only real bad thing about this is that we don't have an on-ride photo section. It's going to cost us some serious monies, but I don't know where to put it, really. I honestly don't. I don't see any other place where we could squeeze it in. Uh, wait, hold on a second. I do know of a place where we could squeeze it in, where it would be actually good. We are going to squeeze it in because it's money, and money is one thing that we're going to need in this park badly. From this point onwards, look, all right photo section right there at blazing high speeds. And boom, connected. And opened up as well. I know we don't know what the ratings are, but that doesn't matter too much. All that we need to do right now is uh, get this stuff sorted, because, yeah, we're going to see vomits over here. And what we also need is some staff on this area. Now, assigning it, that's going to be difficult, because I have no clue, really, how these areas line up. So... I'm assigning this in hopes that it has the right coverage. We're also going to get just a loose mechanic, by the way. Uh, and a fixed mechanic, which is you, for the safety. Now, if I drop you there, are you trapped up and down? You are. Right. That's about the best that I can do, really, so... But there we are. Uh, oh, um, this is how it's supposed to look and this is the coaster we don't have the ratings on it just yet but the first uh, train is almost returning so what we're gonna do next is find out what those ratings are but unfortunately it's a bit of a cliffhanger or rather a above house hanger <laughs> and uh, we're gonna find out what those ratings are next time when we play more roller coaster tycoon